Good afternoon and welcome to the cathedral as we pray the Stations of the Cross on Good Friday. Congregational singing is still currently suspended uh, as part of our COVID protocols. Um, if there are any left stations, booklets, if you don't already have some, may be found at the cross aisle at the table in the center, I believe. Um, and presiding at stations today is Deacon Phil Stewart. Let us stand and begin. At the cross her station keeping Stood the mournful mother weeping Close to Jesus to the last in her heart his sorrow sharing, all his bitter anguish bearing. Now at length the sword had passed. Due to the uh, COVID uh, protocol today, we would ask that you do remain in your seat as we process around to the different stations. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. To you, Eternal Father, we now offer this tribute of our worship in a spirit of humility and with a contrite heart. And may it redound to your honor and glory and make us all faithful Christians, both living and dead, deserving of the forgiveness of our sins, the increase of grace and the reward of everlasting life. Let us glory in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, in whom is salvation, life, and resurrection. Let us pray. O oh God, through passion, death, and resurrection of your Son, you show that the path to eternal glory by the way of the cross. As we now follow him by our prayers to the place of Calvary, May we also share in his victory over sin and death and be received into his kingdom for all eternity, where he lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit forever. Amen. See how sad and sore distressed was that mother highly blessed of the soul begotten one. Christ above in a torment hangs, she beneath beholds the pangs of her dying a glorious son. The first station Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. In the morning, the chief priests, elders, scribes, and the whole council, binding Jesus, led him away and took him to Pilate. And they all condemned him, saying, He is guilty of death. We have found this man saying that he is Christ the King. And Pilate, sitting in place of judgment, handed Jesus over to them to be crucified. God spared not his only son, but delivered him up for all of us. Let us pray. O Lord Jesus Christ, you came down upon earth in the glory of the Father in heaven and shed your precious blood for the remission of our sins. We humbly pray that on the day of judgment, you may find us worthy to be placed at your right hand and to hear your words, come, you blessed of my Father. And this we ask of you now living and reigning forever. Amen. Who on Christ's dear mother gazing, pierced by anguish so amazing, Born of woman would not weep. The second station. Jesus takes up his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. 
because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Carrying his cross, Jesus went forth to the place called Calvary. Hail, O Christ, our King! You alone had pity on the folly of our sins. Obedient to the will of the Father, you are led forth to be crucified like an innocent lamb to the slaughter. To you be glory, to you be triumph and victory over sin and death. To you the crown of highest honor and acclaim. The Lord has laid on him the iniquities of us all. For the wickedness of his people, he has stricken him. Let us pray. Lord, you once said, Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lonely of heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And grant that we may be able so to carry it as to obtain your saving grace. And this we ask of you now living and reigning forever. Amen. Who on Christ's dear mother thinking Such a cup of sorrow drinking Would not share her sorrows The third station. Jesus falls the first time under the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Our Lord Jesus Christ humbled himself to the point of death, even to death on the cross. And that is why God exalted him above every creature and gave him a, a name that is above all other names. And come, let us adore and bow down and worship before God. Let us weep in the presence of the Lord who made us, for he is indeed the Lord our God. Surely he has borne our infirmities. And he has carried our sorrows. Let us pray. Almighty God and Father, we confess that we are weak and that we often fail in the midst of trials and, and sufferings, and through the merits and the passion and death and the resurrection of Christ, your only begotten Son, give us new courage and hope. And this we ask in Jesus' name, who lives and reigns forever. Amen. Gracious Mother, font of love, Touch my spirit from above. Make my heart with yours accord. The fourth station. Jesus meets his afflicted mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. To what shall I compare you? Or to what shall I liken you, virgin daughter of Jerusalem? For great as the sea is your distress. O Mother of mercy, grant that we may always realize in ourselves the death of Jesus and share with him in his saving passion. A sword of sorrow has pierced your soul and filled your heart with bitter pain. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, at the hour of your cruel death on the cross, a sword of sorrow pierced the grieving soul of the Virgin Mary, your mother. May she plead for clemency in our behalf, now and at the hour of our death. This we ask of you, now living and reigning forever. Amen. Make me feel as you have felt. Make my soul to glow and melt with the love of Christ my Lord. 
the fifth station. Simon of Cyrene is forced to take up the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. As the soldiers were leading Jesus away on the road to Calvary, they laid hold of a certain Simon of Cyrene, a passerby who was coming in from the country, and forced him to take up the cross of Jesus. If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Whoever does not carry his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Let us pray. O God of grace and might, accept our prayers and sacrifices and be moved to have mercy on us. Strengthen us in our weakness so that our rebellious wills may yield to your divine will in all things. This we ask of you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bruised, derided, accursed, defiled, she beheld her tender child, all with bloody scourges rent. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus, we adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Lo, we have seen him, and there is no beauty in him, nor comeliness. He is despised and rejected, a man of sorrows, his face full of grief. He is worn out by suffering, like one in whose presence the people hide their faces. He is scorned and disdained. His appearance is that of one tortured beyond human endurance. And yet, he is fairer than all the sons of men, and by his wounds we are healed. Turn not your face away from us. And withdraw not from your servants in your anger. Let us pray. O oh God, Renew us according to your own image and likeness, and by the precious blood of Jesus Christ, your Son, guide our footsteps in your paths, and that we may truly experience the gift of your divine charity. This we ask through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. For the sins of his own nation, he now walks in desolation till his earthly life is spent. The seventh station. Jesus falls a second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. They delivered me into the hands of the impious, and they cast me out among the wicked, and they spared not my life. The powerful gathered together against me, and like giants they stood against me. Afflicting me with cruel wounds, they mocked me. <clears throat> but I am a worm and no man. The reproach of men and the outcast of the people. Let us pray. O oh God, by the humiliation of your Son, you lifted up our fallen world. Grant your faithful people abiding peace and joy. Deliver us from the perils of eternal death and guide us to eternal happiness in heaven. This we ask through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Holy Mother, pierce me through. In my heart each wound renew. Of my Savior crucified, let me share with you his pain. 
who for all my sins was slain, who for me in a torment died. The eighth station. Jesus meets the woman of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Following Jesus on the road to Calvary was a great multitude of people and of women who bewailed and lamented him. And Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, weep not for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. Remember that the days are coming when they will say to the mountains, Fall on us, and to the hills, cover us. If they do this when the wood is green, what will happen when it is dry? They who sow in tears shall reap in joy. Let us pray. O oh God, you chose rather to have mercy than to be angry with those who put their hope in you, and grant us your grace that we may truly grieve and make amends for the evil we have done and thus obtain the gift of your heavenly constellation. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let me join with you in a grief. Take away my unbelief. All the days that I may live. The ninth station. Jesus falls a third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. My people, what have I done to you? Or in what have I grieved you? Answer me. I brought you out of the land of Egypt, and you have led me to the gibbet of the cross. In forty years I fed you with manna in the desert, and you have beaten me with blows and scourges. What more should I have done for you that I have not done? He was led as a sheep to the slaughter. He was mute as a lamb before the shearer. Let us pray. Guard us, O God, on high, by your ever-present mercy and goodness. Without your help, we cannot overcome the evil that beckons us because of our weak human nature. Without you, we shall surely fall. Help us to avoid all that is sinful and guide our steps in the way of all that is profitable for our salvation. This we ask of you through Christ our Lord. Amen. At the cross with you to stay, there with you to weep and pray. This I ask of you to give. The tent station. Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. They came to the place that is called Golgotha, or Calvary, the place of the skull. And there they gave him wine to drink, mingled with gall. He tasted it, but would not drink. They divided his garments among them by drawing lots, and thus was fulfilled what the prophet had said. They divided my garments among them, and for my vesture they cast lots. They gave me gall for my food. And in my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Let us pray. Strip us, Lord Jesus, of our former self with its evil deeds and ways, and clothe us with that newness of nature, 
which you have created in justice, holiness, and truth. This we ask of you, now living and reigning forever. Amen. Virgin of all virgins blessed, listen to my fond request. Let me share your grief and pain. The eleventh station. Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Having arrived at the place called Calvary, they crucified him there, and with him two thieves, one on the right and the other on the left, and Jesus in the midst. My people, what have I done to you? I exalted you with great power, and you would hang me on the gibbet of the cross. They have pierced my hands and feet. They have numbered all my bones. Let us pray. O oh God, by the sacred passion of your only begotten Son, and by the five wounds from which his blood was poured, you repaired the evil wrought by sin in our human nature. As we are on earth revere the wounds which he received, we pray that in heaven we may experience the fruit of his most precious blood. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let me to my latest breath in my body bear the death of your risen Son once slain. The Twelfth Station. Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When Jesus saw his mother at the foot of the cross and standing near her, the disciple whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. And after that he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. Having tasted the vinegar, Jesus said, It is finished. And then crying in a loud voice, he said, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. And bowing his head, he gave up his spirit. Christ, for our sake, became obedient unto death, even to death on the cross. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, at the sixth hour you mounted the gibbet of the cross for the redemption of the world, and shed your precious blood for the remission of our sins. We humbly beg that after our death, we may enter with joy the gates of paradise. And this we ask of you, now living and reigning forever. Amen. Let his stripes and scourging smite me, at his holy cross requite me. Let his blood refresh me there. The thirteenth station. The body of Jesus is placed in the arms of his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. All you who pass by the way, look and see if there be any sorrow like my sorrow. My eyes are spent with weeping. My whole being is troubled, and my strength is poured out upon the earth as I behold the cruel death of my son. 
for the enemy has prevailed against him. And call me not Naomi, that is beautiful, but call me Mara, and that is bitter. For the Almighty has inflicted me and has dealt quite bitterly with me. Tears are on her cheeks. And there is none to comfort her. Let us pray. At your passion, Lord Jesus, as Simeon had foretold, a sword of sorrow pierced the sweet soul of Mary, your glorious Virgin Mother, as we now reverently recall her bitter anguish and suffering. Grant that we may obtain the blessed fruits of your redemption. This we ask of you, now living and reigning forever. Amen. When the flames of hell would end me at the judgment day defend me, gentle virgin with your prayer. The fourteenth station. Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Joseph of Arimathea, who was also a disciple of Jesus, went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. And Pilate ordered it to be given to him. Having taken down the body, down from the cross, Joseph wrapped it in a clean and linen shroud and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had hewn out of a rock. And he rolled a great stone to the door of the tomb. You will not leave my soul in another world. Nor will you let your Holy One see corruption. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you left us a record of your passion in the Holy Shroud, wherein Joseph wrapped your sacred body when it was taken down from the cross. In your mercy, grant that through your death and burial, we may experience the glory of your resurrection. This we ask of you now living and reigning forever. Amen. Jesus, when you call me hence, be your mother my defense. Be your cross my sacrifice. While my body here decays, weigh my soul your goodness praise. Safe with you in a paradise. Concluding prayer, let us pray. O oh God, we will that your only begotten Son should suffer and die on the cross for us in order to rescue us from the power of the enemy. As we now glory in honoring that same holy cross, grant that we may everywhere rejoice in your loving care and obtain the grace of your rising with him. And this we ask of you through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.